Hi, Hani and others. I looked into a solution for queue sorting. Uh, the solution I have here is really expensive. Uh, there are other ones that actually start at like $19,000 a year. Ridiculous, they're all very expensive. Turns out you can just do it with Qualtrics. Let me go to Qualtrics and show you how to do it. Now the Qualtrics interface is re recently updated, so we'll see if we can find everything. Let me just log in. Yep, there's my username. Couldn't see my password though. All right, so let's just create a new survey. I think it's create project here. Let's call this my Q sort and create project. Let's go think about it. The new Qualtrics runs kind of slow. Hopefully they fix that. They've moved to this flat design, which is kind of awkward. All right, so the first thing you want to do is change this default question. You want it to be a pick, group, and rank question. And what you want to do is create some groups. These groups should be your constructs. So let's say you have a pretty model. Um, honey, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to show your model here. Let me pause. And we're back. Okay, let's pretend this is our model. Honey, I hope you don't mind. I'm using your model as an example. Um, here are our constructs uh, that we think are related in some way. Let's put a few of them up in this Q sort. So, not here. Here. All right. Here I would call this purposing. What's another one? Let's go see. Another one is human flourishing. Human flourishing. Let's do one more. Um, let's do empowerment climate. Empowerment climate. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit. This kind of, there you go. You can see it a little better. Now we have some items over here. Um, first, the question is, uh, the instructions essentially, please sort these items into the um, boxes most appropriate or something like that. And so item number one, you know what, let me just use those items that we came up with today. Let's see, those would be right here. Okay, I feel free to be myself. Copy, paste. I'm going to do this with a bunch of them real quick, so I'll pause this and get right back to you. One thing to note is uh, when you run out of items, you can just hit tab. Mm, tab won't work. Enter. Enter works, and that'll create new ones. So I can just hit enter several times, and it'll open up all these new ones. Also, if you need to add constructs, you can just go like this. Groups, add, add. And what this does is it adds more boxes down here. We can have new constructs. I'm going to actually get rid of those. So back to three. Okay. I'm going to put the rest of these items in and then I'll be right back with you. And we're back. Okay. I have all 11 items in there. Really, you'd stick all of your items in there from your whole survey. So it wouldn't just be these 11. It would be all 60 or whatever. And what you do next is go to distributions. Well, let's go to previous so I can show you what this is going to look like. So preview survey, let it think about it, opens a new tab, here's what it's going to look like, let me zoom out, whoa, too far, okay, I can close this, there we go, zoom, there we go, close enough. So users will be presented with this interface, they'll have uh, these buckets and these items, and so they'll just drag them, let's see, I feel free to be myself, I think that is all about um, empowerment. I'm treated with dignity. That is empowerment, I guess. I'm treated with respect. Mm. Flourishing. Anyway, you get the idea. They get to drag these items in here. If they want, they can rank them. Um, we aren't actually going to use that uh, in the analysis. But they can click and drag, and it'll just, uh, once it's run out of items, that area is blank. I can scroll down here, click finish. And then we'll get some results. Let me go back to the survey, though. Okay. Um, one thing we need to do is figure out if we can have columns. Yes, there we go. Columns allows us to put these in smaller boxes. so They're not taking up the whole screen. Um, another thing is it's fairly useful to add a other, or uh, even better, I don't know group. And so this is where they would put any items that they can't really place. 
and go right there. So let me go ahead and launch this really quick. Let's see. Distribution. And get a single reusable link is fine for now. You choose whichever, whichever option is best for you. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, control click. It's going to open up in a new tab. I'm going to take the survey uh, two or three times. I'll just show you. Oh, oops. Click to write item one. <laughs> we have an extra item in here. Sorry. I'll put that in I don't know. Um, so I'm going to just do these really quick. And uh, I'll do this a few times, and then I'll show you what we come up with. I'm going to pause for now. Okay, I've taken the survey four times. Let me go back to the survey and mention one thing. If you're going to do this on MTurk, uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk, and have Turkers uh, fill these out, it's a really good idea to include a... Um, here, let's see, unlock. It's really good to include a, an attention trap. So for this one, you'd say something like, Put me in purposing. Um, and what that does is it tells us if the participant is actually paying attention or if they're just clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging just to finish it to get paid. So let me do one more. Put this in empowerment. There we go. And you randomize these. I wonder if there's a way. Let me see. We should randomize um, selection. I think it's right here on the left. Randomization, randomize the order of all choices, yes, and save. And so what that'll do is it'll put these all in random order, I hope. Let me go preview that just to make sure. Okay, yes, notice it did put them all in random order. Initially it was uh, put me in purposing here and then put me in empowerment. Put me in empowerment is now down here. So there's randomization for you. Okay, the next thing is to go look at the results. So let me just go to the results page, since I've taken this a few times. And it will hopefully have some results. It's retrieving data. Here we go. Here are the results. Oh, it puts them in random order. How lovely. Okay, the first question we had was, um, was a blank item, right? recall. And so this one, uh, I stuck in I don't know four times, and I stuck in empowerment once, apparently. So let me go down here and show normalization percentages. This is what we really want. We want to see what was the convergence on where people stuck things. It looks like there was pretty good convergence on this first item, item number one. Unfortunately, it's not going to show us the item wording. We'll just have to record which item was first, second, third, fourth, and all that. Um, this one up here, item number three, also pretty good convergence, 80% you can see in human flourishing and 20% in empowerment. Now for some of the others we see very little convergence, like this one over here, item number four and item number two. It had less than 50% convergence in any single bucket. This identifies a problem. It shows that either it belongs in, it is too similar to too many constructs, or the user's uh, didn't know what it really belonged to, but didn't stick it in the I don't know bucket. So it, it identifies a problem in our wording, and we need to increase the conceptual distinction between this item and other constructs. Um, so it needs to sound more like the construct we're trying to stick, we're trying to uh, capture with it. Anyway, this is a good way to identify the problematic items, and that is how you would do a Q sort. Hope that's helpful.